or unfortunately aurora and their litany of firepower will be too much yeah that's uh it's definitely gonna be the win condition we're headed to overpass again as well this is a team that's two teams met up on it was i think 13 8 last time around for aurora um but the big silver lining is it is tough to beat the same team twice on the same map in the same exact manner so we'll see that i think is the biggest silver lining for nip problem is their team that's so early into their existence that they're probably spending more of their prac and review time just ironing out what they want to do as opposed to worrying about any degree of anti-stratting into the pistol we go that goes spotted players out towards the long early on he's got support here i want to battle wrinkle though starting off strong here you go here's your guy back on the server and activated but it might not be enough he's losing comrades he's losing teammates he's lost his own life and well they'll have to spend some time to go back and get that bomb aurora has flipped this pistol around on its head i never have seen a sustained tool they didn't like did it have they alan <laughs> no sir any of these Deco's players flank. feel that way Deco, you have the bomb Deco, you have the bomb it's okay, relax. Rez is backing off. I mean, no one's come back to check it, but... No. He's got the bomb. 50 seconds, they gotta get a, a little move on. B it is. 40 seconds. It looks like Rez might gamble, eh? Can't blame him. A man down, they've got no information, why not take a risk? Unfortunately for Rez. He's getting it wrong right now. If he'd stuck around. I mean, 20 seconds by the time they get through the monster tunnel. 15 seconds. They haven't even planted the bomb. Yeah. Maybe could have caused a little bit of a thorn, something to upset the clock, but now it's unarmored Alex and it's Dooley's to take him out. Nicely done for Aurora. They don't stumble despite Wrinkle's nice start to this round. They steady it. They take the pistol through. Just needs to convert. All power for, uh, sorry. Scout out for Rez. Oh, I like this. Double scouts on A. That is the call. Rez will take his long. Wrinkle, presumably, uh, divider, maybe mid. Let's see. Show one scout. Pray that Aurora runs into the second, unsuspecting. That's the plan. Let's see if it works. Wrinkle backs away. Right, as they might have given him a fight, but he's going to reroute the uh, scope of engagement. And he's going to die. Trying to aim high, expecting to boost up over and played low. Now Rez under major pressure. There's no two scouts. There's only the one. He gets a tag. Something at the very least, but an aid to pop this and down he goes. They don't even want to commit into the fight. Mm. Nope. Nope. No interest. Lackey. Actually caught. It's just a Mac 10 giving over. But Alex letting Lackey know what he thinks of him. I think that's a little less effective of a psychological strat when you're, you know, tucking your tail in between your legs and saving. Was it these two that had the uh, the Twitter beef yesterday? No, that was the org accounts. No, yeah, that's what I mean. Yes, Aurora and NIP had the nice Twitter beef. And there's uh, no, the there's no is there any more today or is it? That's a good question. Let me go find out. This is the update we need. I'd imagine NIP are going to be a little more quiet about it. If they're still tweeting, that is honestly to the active detriment of their team. Nice check. NIP CS. Uh, let's see. Nothing. I'm scrolling. I don't see anything. Okay. It's all business today then. I think it's all business today. They they do appear to be going for the classic, like we saw the heroic Twitter accounts engagements and thought we could 
do this too strategy uh, in social media management. But yeah, I don't think they've uh, they've set their team up for disappointment. Weird nades come out of uh, Aurora this round. They miss a molly for three and long. A double smoke here in the toilet. I don't think it's going to matter, but... Not normally the best indication, that sort of thing. Stay calm. Especially in this sort of round. Alex has uh, got himself in a fun position. Results all alone in front of him. Until Lackey comes over. So NIP have all four on A. Oh my lord. Maxter finds two out of nowhere. What is happening? Round crumbles out of nowhere. Did they run through the smoke? What happened? Couldn't quite tell you. How does Maxter get free? Nip magic? Maybe. More like Aurora tragic. What happened? <laughs> I'm not surprised they're pausing there. Uh, you got to imagine whoever wasn't there on long is asking exactly the question I've just asked. What What on earth? How does a 5-7 do that to us? That's a disaster. They've handed over rifles. They've... They're taking a, the time out oh, a huge to talk stumble. it through. What's gone wrong here? How to get back on track? How to keep the guns going their way? It wasn't even a second round force buy. That was just some saved pistols from the one before. Yeah. I mean, look what it's done for NIP. Max is sitting on $5,700. $5,700 spare. All right, make it 53, but still. Oh, but you know Aurora can be deadly on these pistols, so if they can correct the mistake here. What is happening with some of these knights? Yeah, we saw it on Inferno too, actually. They're not the most diligent teams with their utility. This does want to just be the beep off. They're going to be straightforward about it. That's the first kill. Now Max are under pressure. But he does get the one. Blinded, forced off. Alex, down. Somehow still alive. There we go. Norvie finishes this bomb uh, to be planted. And NIP, I mean, if they don't get a kill here, do they pull the plug? There's no smoke. There's no smoke to cross. Oh, no. And Kenzie sticks in and fights. So it's all falling apart. They had four alive. They had the man advantage, but the lack of a smoke cost them. And now, even getting a bomb plant out of this would be a result. It's not going to happen. That's another catastrophic round for Aurora. Everything going their way, but just... A little careless with the bomb. And yeah, it's done. Kind of also goes back to the buy where they just didn't have full utils. So, one more smoke for heaven. And that round is probably a save for Nip if the bomb goes down in a four and three. Um, but even then, Aurora had some flashes... I, I failed to believe what they did was, was the best approach. Could have flashed up there and tried to come together. But it's just Benito now. They lost the round. Uh... Whack-a-mole here for Wrinkle. So I have found it now. It's fitting because Aurora's on a little bit of a round slide. I have found it. The Aurora account was in fact... Talking trash. Give me it. What do they say this time? Uh, so the first tweet was from two hours ago. Said, second chance for NIP admin to not um, soil himself. Was NIP just a screenshot admin. of the matchup. Mm -hmm. Presumably the, the CS or whoever's running the, the Twitter account. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Uh huh. And then uh, after. Hold on. Uh, for, for the actual tweet, final qual of qualifications for ESL Challenger Yon Ping playing against the legends from the 60th place of HLTV ranking. Uh, and then also after map one, they tweeted, Nimpossible for you guys again, with 
the N I N P capitalized. We made a picture for you right away, so the designer didn't even have to bother and tweeted out one of their match loss graphics for N I P. I don't pull any punches. <laughs> no, they're talking a lot of smack. I know, but. Players better yeah, be able to follow it up. But you also, like, if you're going out there saying, oh, 66 best team, you suck, and then you lose. <laughs> you haven't... Better not do you it. You haven't really... kind of scoring an own goal Oy. there, really. That makes life a lot easier. Thank Regal's head off his shoulders. Res traded. Op oh, firmly out of grasp now. So Max is not Max an A do? player. They might not expect him. Rezal was looking for it, but it just didn't matter. Great shot from Axe. They want to bring him the fight. Flashbang's a little awkward there. So now two on two. Gotta be careful with the ball. Not their strong suit. Norvi wins the engagement. That was a risk for sure. But now he's going to be able to plant truck. Alex is not expecting the player right by the fence as soon as they turn around. Oh my. Oh, there's the spot. That's going to be frustrating, but Deco will still have him dead to rights. Norvi may not be pleased with his teammate, but he will be pleased with the round win. Was this round the dictionary definition of just brute forcing it onto a side? Yeah. They just took jewels. Uh, the NIP had 3A in head. NIP had 3A. Couldn't make it work. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's even Stevens. I need to see him as a lot of money, Aurora. Even less for them. Max heads out. What is the move? It's an opener for Maxer, is what it is. Is that just connector spam? I believe that was just connector spam. Or a boost up. Bad feeling, Mike. For who? The stream. <laughs> it's a little bit choppy on my end. Oh, is it? I think that's just you. Okay, I'll give it a reset. Yet. I'll give it a yeah. reset. Yeah, I think that's just a you thing right now. So we'll see if we can bring you back in. Well, I've refreshed it. It looks okay. Got a little bit funky yesterday. That's why I was nervous. Hmm. All good so far. All good. Hey, okay. The rest is going looking. Clear now. There's no one towards long. Wrinkle. Shadow spotted. Wrinkle. Ripping arms from shoulders. They got no long presence. There's nothing to pull him off this angle, but he's chasing. Little overzealous there from Wrinkle. And he's lost his life. He has to oh find a fight. There isn't, there isn't time to sort this out. He needs to open the I don't know. He's so far, though. They hear the short rotation. That might tip them off. They're trying to force the player out from Graffiti. And Alex is dead. Bomb's going to be planted. Oh, the nade misses. It hits the wall. This is, again, the lack of utility precision from this team is costly. Kenzie's able to clean it up, but maybe that health would have made the difference in the duel. Lackey, good shot. Norvi, follow up. It's all good. They're able to smooth over these bumps with their individual prowess, but we've seen a lot of moments for Aurora where just a little bit of imprecision with the utility cost them. So give give Kenzie credit for taking that space. Um, he doesn't get the frag, but he does take NIP off the site. He enables a bomb plant. And first pause is in for NIP. Well, they'll know the Aurora money's pretty bad. But I just don't think they have the funds to go in for this. I mean, Res could fam ass. It doesn't feel all too compelling to me. Um, okay, it's just going to be a half buy. This is the right decision. Stings to give Aurora a crack at a fairly easy round, but... Better than gambling the chips on red. Okay. Key kills from Norby in the last few rounds, too. Mm. Trying 
trying to remember what the half split was in the last game. Because this is already starting to feel like a very good T-side for Aurora. I feel like it was quite even. Let's go see. What does history say? Overpass. Yeah, it was a 6-6, six, six, actually. So, this doesn't exactly bode well for the Niñas. Well, that bodes a little bit better. Hang on. Okay, filler player, Blue Phoenix. What you got? You got another one. Ooh, the snap round would have been too much. But no, if he is down, this kid maxed her. He just is uh, a genius in making something out of a round that should be nothing. And meanwhile, Wrinkle's creeping closer on the flank. So Max has got to hold the front, but he's coming peeking. He's coming fighting. Posted for the moment, backing away. There's the peek in. There's the check. Now they've spotted him, but this is all just to bait Wrinkle in closer so that they're not checking, so that they're not watching the flank. Wrinkle. I can't Presence believe it's a result. result. There. I can't believe That's it. That's insane. With 40 seconds left. I mean, I think I think what gear what, what turns in his head is why isn't he fighting? Why is he baiting us? It's not Master's tendency. To put it together in time. Still armor. AK, this is doable. This is workable. They need to plant this bomb. They can't lose it. Result's gone towards the other side of the map. 15 seconds. Master just needs a headshot here. Walking out of the sidewalk. Result will have the timing. That's way too close for comfort. But it is a fifth on the board. The Aurora way. It's the Aurora way. My golly, they lose a lot of guns though, don't they? It drains the cash. Uh, yeah, I was just checking. The, the previous bout was uh, NIP started 5-0. And then Aurora turned the half back around and made it 6 all. So, uh, already quite a different look is this one. CT where Aurora really started with their authority to close out that map. So make it up what you will. Aurora, bomb towards B. Three players outside a monster, one in connector, one in B short. I think they want to hit the site very, very soon. The bait, the bait, everybody's here! And it's a massacre in the monster, but not the way NIP were hoping. There's still bodies here in the defense. And Maxo holds strong. Oh, Aurora try and slam their face right into that B site. And the site fights back. Another big round from Maxter. Another big moment. Wrinkle stepping up as well. NIP. Now on to four. Come. And the money is up in a puff of smoke for Aurora. Come the hit in that round. NIP with 5B. Not 4B. Not 3B. Yeah. 5B. Yep. yep. Uh, 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 you never would have expected a if pretty you're colossal you gamble. So many a monster. What a read from Alex. I assume it was Alex that made the call at the start of the round. Same as heavily lean B. Wow. I mean, after even after Aurora gets the kills, they're not expecting the sights to be fully laden. Okay. You can understand the decision for them, but. Done bad things with the Aurora money. This is a route back into this half and then some for NIP. The full force buy in response. First kill already trickles NIP's way. And there's no util left. There is nothing. There's no smokes. There's no flashes. How do you navigate onto a bomb site? Especially Wrinkle. Well, that's one way. Uh, that's that is one way. <laughs> oh, what was wow. the phrase you used, Alan? Brute force? Yeah. And then some. I got a brute force this round. They got armor, they've got AKs. A scout on Deco, sometimes that's all you need. But Maxter, he's been the real menace on this. You can bait that around, trying to chase this. Maxter, but utility down. He's got Alex to support him. Flashbang through. Good trade. But that's just going to coax them forward. They're not scared of Alex. They're not scared of Alex at all. Scout tag on. He's being wrapped from the dice box. He knows. Oh, and Alex, savvy, maneuvering, keeps himself up. Keeps NIP fighting. That is a big pair of jewels for Alex to win. That could have really changed his map. But NIP survive. This one will be an eco for Aurora. Hook or by crook, NIP stays in this game of overpass. Maxed and Wrinkle having great maps. Um, 
Phoenix played well on Inferno, so give him a pass. We'd love to see him get more engaged. That is for sure. And here's the call. Chase down Rez. Rez is alone for the moment, so he needs to stay alive. Just a barrage. Artillery strike. Now the bodies are here as well. Maybe an overface for Max there. But this round firmly in hand. What can Norfolk be expected to do? Not much. Not much. Is he really going to push what? through B? Oh, boy. Okay. Maximum amount of time in a 1v3 with a Glock and no armor. How's your day going, Alan? We got nothing to talk about for the next 30 <laughs> seconds. Yeah, not too bad, really. I mean, um, don't know. I haven't done much. You've been a little busy doing this. Yeah, I mean, well, it, it did start at 2 p.m. my time, so mm. I did cook, mm. I guess, if that counts. What did you cook, though? A, uh, a cottage pie. What? Which has got nothing to what do with a cottage. cottage pie. I'm intrigued. Hold on, here's contact. Norvi, about to tear down the walls of this cottage. With the mighty battering ram that is the Glock. Yeah, no, it didn't. It was the same result as if you just faced them, Norvi. You're not. <laughs> you ain't slick. I mean, look, if he'd got a knife kill and stolen a gun away, we would be all hype on it. So fair dinkum for him trying. It, it just ain't gonna happen. You know what a shepherd's pie is? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's that, but you swap out the lamb for beef. Same thing. Oh, and that just makes it a cottage pie? Yep. Sure, okay. That sounds delicious. Can you send me some? Um, I can't confirm it will make it. Damn. In an edible state. Unfortunate. One day you will stay in London. One day. One day. One day. You see, the problem with events in London is that um, you've just got so many dang Brits over there who work as broadcast talent. <laughs> they don't need me. They don't need no. the imports, Alan. Well, you could fly via London easily enough for any EU event. Ah, there you go. We'll make it happen. I just wanted this Maybe on my way to Yon Shipping. To hold you to, <laughs> hold you to it. Mm. Gotta get the commit. Maybe let me buy a bigger place first. <laughs> so there's actually room. Nades over. We're back in. No more Glock Ecos here. One final round. Fireworks in the half. Wrinkle delivering them. As NIP look to one-up their previous performance on Overpass. And walk away with seven. That's a damn nice start. Resolt though. Shots out on the other hero of this map so far. Master gone. Norvi hunting. Shadow gives that away. He's got long. He's gained long. And now, securing bathrooms as well. They just want to fight. Deco, the next victim. They're all just walking into Rez's crosshair. But Deco will finally be able to undo it. Knows the damage has been done. And Wrinkle wrapping. Ever closer to his prize. There it is. Bomb confirmed. Lackey's on the other side of the dang map. Tough to lurk when there's no one else from your team alive. They've got bomb control. They have zero concern, really, about this B site, so they're just going to leave it alone. I'm not even sure if this is possible given the clock. <laughs> if you full sprint it, even I think then. so. Yeah, because he could run up A, run out long, get back to A, and plant. But there are these three pesky things. Uh, called the NIP players. We'll make that a little more difficult for him. And indeed, Wrinkle will close it 7-5 to five as we head to the half.
I'll keep your picture in my room Cause it gets me in the mood You're still a thing for you in my head You got me so confused My mind is full of you Still want you in my room Don't wanna get rid of you Slipping away, I learned the hard way. But something's gotta stay. Don't let it go to waste. Do you remember all of the long nights warming my bed? Not for the sunrise, that's what you said. You have a soul tired, it's time again. We're back here on Overpass, and while the ninjas have done one better than last time, it still doesn't necessarily bode well for their chances. It's a 13-8. After a 6-6 half last time these two teams met on Overpass, all of yesterday ago. Let's see if they can change their fortune. They got a chance, Alan. They got a chance. And we're always got four though on B. Ooh, and Deco's coming over. Flashy is right in, but it doesn't work out for Lackey. Fortunately, so there's so many players on this site. It's not going to matter. It's not going to matter if NRB keep finding entries like this. Wrinkle collects free. Him and Rez have been formidable so far on overpass. And those should be the stars of this team. Look at that. Rez, Max, to Wrinkle leading the way. This is as intended. It is indeed. It is indeed, and already their fortunes have changed. Because last time, I'm reading the stars of what happened last time. Aurora did, in fact, win the second half pistol. That was a big piece. We're getting started early. Tonight, Pierre going to get a chance to really show us what they've got. Aurora going just to the USPs. They don't want to keep wasting time. There's one Deagle on Deco. Full five-man push for a setup here towards Long. Rez is posted, waiting for this. They know something cheeky is going to come through. There is an aspect to this qualifier where who's really tested Aurora? Who's really pushed them on a map all the distance? True. They got taken pretty close in that first series and on the maps by, I think it was Metasport, but uh, the pressure of the grand final is a little bit different. So, I'm going to enjoy these rounds to come. We're not expecting too much here, but every frag is worth its weight in gold. Aurora can just limit this money. Rez could be in for a bit of a rude awakening if he peeks wide. But look at that. The discipline to fall off. Now he knows exactly what's coming. Surprised the bomb's even sticking around, but I uh, wanted to keep Rez safe. Blue Phoenix. Gotta be careful. Yeah, it's a shame he's got the bomb because otherwise he would have fought to defend the AK. Mm hmm. They're gonna have to fight to reclaim the AK instead. Which seems like it's not too much of a problem right now. Yeah, they're just Mac 10s, but also he's not got armor, so as soon as bolts connect, good luck, Lackey. And down he goes! AK reclaimed! Only one casualty. NIP pretty content with that one. Should be. This is what we're here for. Here's your point as well, Alan. From the break, Rez and Wrinkle missing on Inferno not been the same story here they're tops of the boards and that's the difference maker for nip yeah i mean they were also both the a players on that first half i was surprised aurora was going a so much because uh, i was a bit of a killing ground for those two on site but yeah especially when rez is playing well this team is this team is a different prospect that's for sure wrinkle's been great all event uh, max has been up there too but rez is uh 
He's got some more work to do to find his place in this lineup. What's the call then, Alex? Where are we allocating the troops at the moment? Uh, B heavy default. Nades lined up. These are for wood. There's nobody there proper. Result nearby on pillar takes a bit of damage, but uh, it's much worse for wear. And Wrinkle just spams the smoke. Well, that you is fortune. That, that is some real fortune. Take that every day of the week. Alex has passed it. Let's hold on high notice. There we go. Eliminated. This is a disaster scenario. Norvi, if he can't get serious impact from graffiti, his teammates are just never even going to come down here to help him. This is a save. What a disastrous start to this half. This gun round it got nothing going, and Max is even trying to see if he could scare up another rifle. Aurora up against it. Overpass slipping it out of their grasp. What's our decider if we get to it? Ancient. Ancient. Hmm. Which would be fun. That would be very fun. And every indicator right now is pointing to a third map. The next round, Aurora might start forcing soon. Now that far down. Kenzie and Decker could drop A1Ss, but they'll have to just go out and nades if they want to take that approach. Uh, I'd like Aurora to pause, I think, to have that discussion at the very minimum. Okay, it's going to be a half fire around the guns. Half fire is all it is. Great opportunity then for NIP. To make it up to 11. They were picking uh, overpass in other games in this tournament, so. They were? Yeah, they clearly had some confidence on it internally. But uh, based on what we've seen so far, they've saved the best for last. I mean, it just feeds into what we've been talking about. They've been spooling up. Every map seems to be better. It's a nice kill for Kenzie, though. We shouldn't be burying Aurora before the body's actually cold. No. <laughs> and especially if there's any round to bring Aurora back into a game like this, this these sort of rounds, they are... They are... Uh, potent, I guess is the mm -hmm. word. Couple rifles, couple players needing hero plays. Headshots required. Four players in towards B right now. They got the right bodies in the right places. Winning buys like this is how Aurora gets their big series wins. Question is, does Rez see enough, or rather the absence of enough, that he actually calls this off? Time's getting lower for him to be able to do it. If he's going to bail them out, it has to be now. I don't he's think so. He's just trying to ruse it. Yeah. Don't imagine they're going to bite. There's the peak. Now they know all the bodies are here, but they did lose the first player on an early warning system. Time's rough. Rez up short. Wrinkle low. Got to come monster. Now both rifles are here. It's both M4s that have remained 15 seconds. You got to go, Wrinkle. You got to go. Time is everything. Rez gone. And this one's looking like a disaster. Deco on the angle. There is no way. There was no time. There was no chance. Two rifles, three pistols. That's all they need. These are the danger rounds. Game on. Game on. This is what we're here for. NIP, though, they still have some cash. Pauses in, and I'm not surprised. They've been trigger accurate happy on the pauses the whole event, and this is a big one. The most important thing they need to do is relax, because they... There's no reason to expect Aurora to have so many players be in that situation. There was, there was no anticipating that. It's, it's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. You just got to suck it up and play on, and they have money here to buy it well again. And what's the call going to be? Been a lot of defaults in this half on the gun rounds. Alex isn't scared to run a faster play, a B pop, something up short. But timing is critical. Got to make a, a good read for when B might be exposed. 
That's not the call anyway. It's an AD fault. Right into his connector at the start. It's not actually quite hard to get vision. Where does an IP actually want to go? They're taking some space out bath or, or sorry, towards bathrooms out by the party. And this is by Aurora standards, uber passive. All the way back in towards site. They're kind of toying with NIP's expectations. Because you can see NIP in the initial foray into the round. They're expecting something crazy. They're expecting some sort of push. They're expecting some sort of space. And so now we're 50 seconds down. And they don't really have any information to operate off of. 40 seconds hitting the clock. Bomb's going to come in towards B. So they've made their choice. There's not enough time to bail out here anymore, really. As a result, use this smoke. For now, he's saving it for barrels. And NIP are going to come this way. That nade Norby actually sends the comes down. off. Norby's going A at just the wrong time. A bit unfortunate. Oh, but the spray down. Blackie's able to hold. The Molotov's got him. Even numbers now. Bomb going to be planted. Norby already forward. He's trying to brawl. He's trying to battle, but against the awful wrinkle, it might just be too much. Kenzie and Deco. Tempting this retake. Wrinkle's able to slip away, but stuck on the site is Alex. Trying to slip towards water, and he'll catch Kenzie. No! The snap around! All just Wrinkle now! They trade guns. Bogdan's Law in effect. And the reposition out towards Monster Wrinkle. This is expected. They're looking the right way at the right time. All oh, the trade's not there. Kenzie can't hit it! And Wrinkle! The new star shines! This is wild. This is crazy. This is carnage. Wow. Alex must have been head in hands when he didn't kill Kenzie. And thank the lucky stars that Wrinkle was there to end the round. Wrinkle has been so good in after plants. He doesn't falter. He doesn't miss. And NIP are getting ever so close to making right all the wrongs of the first map. Look at the investment from Aurora. They have no interest in handing NIP 12. They're going to buy in here two MP9s. Smattering of util, but not much of it. Kenzie, though, opens the scorecard. Rez caught out in the open. No chance of a trade. Util will allow Kenzie to fall off. So strike one goes the way of Aurora in a must-win round look at this though look at how much space is being afforded to this monster push because they've got this deep short control blue phoenix is just he's walked us out and results only devoting half his attention to it how he's coming back in for the clear oh no the timing for blue phoenix that one's gonna sting that one's gonna hurt great flashbang now they're in full control Counter-Strike is a cruel, cruel mistress. And sometimes it's a matter of seconds and that minutes. does you in. They need to save these guns. They're trying. It's a decent look buy at the flank. The next if they can keep them going. Look at Kenzie. Even with the money hazardous on the Aurora side, he's not interested in allowing any free saves. No free lunches while Kenzie's around as far as he's concerned. One for one, well worth it here. As far as he uh, thinks. Can they clock him? No. No, surely not. Match the talk, the op will live. But it sends the money into all sorts of disarray here. They're going to have to force buy around this, presumably. It's a really tough spot to be in. And <sighs> NIP, this could see the gap close. They've got any pauses left? They might have one left. Okay, they're going to save it. They're going to save it. This is a big moment in this series. 
with this Aurora and NIP. They haven't banked up a lot of loss bonus, even their buys down the line will not be great. Force by around the saved AWP wrinkle once a duel and he gets it. He is so good at getting entries. Kenzie though fights back. It's tit for tat. The way it's been all series long. I think the club music amps him up. That's Kaninchen ringing in his ears. They're coming his way. They're coming back in for this B take. Feels like so many of these battles have ended in the monster tunnel no matter where they start. Now this one's going to be no different. Minute on the clock. They've got time for this, but they've only got flashes, Alan. They only have flashes on the T side. There are no smokes. There are no mollies. Oh, 12 time. One the smoke. And at the same time, Deco's playing. They're going to walk it. No way. <laughs> that flashbang actually stopped them in the tracks. Now, okay, one, two, it's over. Wrinkle, ain't nothing you can do about this. Bombs in their grasp. You just need to try and save that all. No world, no way, no how, no life, no escape. This is game on now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> This one's got to be an almost full eco for NIP, surely. Exist is saving that pause for something. Maybe before the next gun round. I'm not sure. Oh, this game is cooking up a treat now. That was that round in the previous. That was wrinkle handed them the entry on a platter. Handed them a five on four. And NIP could not convert. Can't see. Can't see. Uh, a little bit of an overcommit there. That's a rifle that can now be scooped. Biggest issue for Aurora sometimes is their own confidence in the fights against numbers. Still. Hubris. Dangerous. They do like to stay close to the sun, don't they? Those darn wask wings. Wax even. Get in the way sometimes. Deco, though. He's going to be soaring. And now Wrinkle is a goner. So just the one casualty. It is actually all a okay. But this one's going to be a different ball game. This pause is going to come in soon. I think they've still got one. I could be wrong. Not seeing a pause hit. Not in. Not in. Right back at it. <sighs> Trying moments for NIP. In the lead, but it has dwindled. Who's this gun round eco? One in is even Stevens. Very fast to connect to Kenzie. Forced to play behind this Molotov. Two teammates with him on A. The intent is clear. Aurora doesn't want NIP to take A control for three. As Kenzie swings. One kill. Big damage on the second. And now Result activates. Long have we waited. Result activated. Well, they've got to slow him down. Molotov's trying to do that. Norvi just trying to give Result time to cook. That's the bomb. And Result's not going to stick around in that sight line. He's going to reposition. So the Rez is able to retrieve. Max is actually coming back to clear this up. And so it's a good thing that Result shifted his move. Before oh, a peak, Norby the second. Unreasonable. Just a straight fight taken and won. And now, Maxter, what have you got to try and hold them off with double digits, to try and, and hold this round in your control, to try and somehow bring this back? He had some miraculous moments on Inferno. Some really miraculous moments to try and keep them fighting. But this one might be too much. 33 seconds. Maxter creeping forward. Baki the first hurdle. And surely it's just too much. Nade to chase. That would do it. But the bullets will do just fine. 10 on the board. Money gone again. This is looking like a tied ball game, ladies and gentlemen.
Norvi is a bold man. I don't know how he walks around with those things. Weighing him down. My god. <laughs> I'm stunned that he solo pushed that. That is wild. But it worked. And then some. No plan either for NIP. Could sign them to the pistols. Aurora. Refuse to give up their grasp. On this map of overpass, they don't want this to go to ancient. I'm going to keep this clean. Kenzie tagged up. Luckily, nobody mid. Close to trade him. Maxter could swing. But not incentivized with that HP. Kenzie gets out. Aurora cannot afford any mistakes. In the past, they've fallen foul to these sort of rounds. Overzealous, overaggressive, looking for frags. That cannot be the case this time. Look at that nade. Look at that nade. Actually, mostly dodge, but the bullets will do just fine. Deco will be making no mistakes. There are no blunders. There's not a foot stepped wrong. They keep it clean. They keep it flawless. And now they're just two rounds away. Two rounds away from securing their spot in Yontraping. And this slide from NIP, here's where it has to end. The investment will come through. Here's that last time out for you. Yeah, they were saving it. Well, overpass guaranteed now. Maximum regulation rounds. What are NIP discussing? They've struggled to get onto a site with even numbers for a while now. Lost a lot of men on the defaults. It's Aurora have just amped up the proactivity and aggression. When does Alex change the pace? He could throw in a faster round. Maybe it'll just be a slow coordinated default. He's got options. What's the move going to be? Looks like a B heavy opening. Wrinkles coming towards this side, of course. We saw earlier in the half. Wrinkle. Got an entry up short. There's four in attendance from Aurora. So plenty of targets to pick from. And Wrinkle misses Deco. Deco doesn't. Man advantage, Aurora. What a time for the wheels to come off. What a time for the star to miss. For the clouds to cover. That's the moment. Res, long range engagement. Kenzie actually going to show the patience to not go for that fight. No, he had to. He was the only man on A. Can't give it up, so he'll back away. Norvi comes into support. And they're funneling down towards Monster again. This most faithful of spots. Seems like it's, like it's going to be where things end again. Feels like it's been a while since it worked, though, I've got to be honest. Mm. Hasn't been great. I Hasn't guess. been great at all. Deco's posted. Yeah, they're going short. They're going time. short. Deco's here. Oh, he pulls away to check the boost. Never mind. Not going to be punished on There the is timing. a window. Aurora are 3A right now. All tossed down. How quickly can they shift? The lock comes to Deco. What? There's the boost. That's what he was checking for, but... Might not expect the op to still be here. Pressure on. Rotation. He just needs to buy time and he knows it. Burning. Repositioning. Fighting forward. Oh, Maxer! Around the corner. Rezzo lights him up. That's a collat! All just on to Rez to keep the hope alive. And Rez is watching the dream of a Swedish land slip away. A no scope on the edge of the smoke, followed up by a collat kill. What a sequence, Alan. I can't believe it. It's also because on that boost, you can see a lot of pillar and around the site. They might not have expected the player to be pillar as they ran in because they killed the player barrels. <sighs> NIP, you've come so close. But is it too early in the life cycle? Is this lineup too fresh? In six months, maybe this could have worked. But in the here and now, it's Aurora. With their already strong core, result arrives and bolsters the firepower. Deco, after a silent six months in CS2, is hitting hard for the first time in a while. And he's saying, Wrinkle, <laughs> you might be the new kid, but I've still got it. I've still got it.
and we're going to land. See if we can write those words into reality. It's such a limited round for NIP, right? I mean, we've got two smokes, a molly, and a flash. That's it. That's it remaining. There can be no multi-step processes. You can't be faking. You can't be throwing these things and wasting them. It's just got to be clean all the way. And once again, Deco's in the right place. Norvi's floating up as well. They've got the read. They've got the bodies in the right place. Bit of a risky phase for Kenzie. Just a kind of an unusual way to take that fight. Norvi presses forward. Wants the shadow. Now he's got confirmation. Not the kill, though. How quickly can they respond to that information? Body's trying to come up. Made to harass to Harry. Shot not landing. Opportunities now starting to slip, but there's Deco and Kenzie holds strong, and it's all over. Just on her ankle, down and out. Aurora Gaming, they had the battle back. They had to do it the hard way. They had to do it the tough way on overpass, but they secure their map pick. They're going to land. They're going to Yon Shiping. This young star-studded squad, this firepower team, this absolute artillery battery of a unit, they're going to land. Thank you.